or it'd be on Monday and you'd like to change some of these over at a current date. Uh, what was that process like for you to come from Vegas and not even two months later, you're here in Ray's camp? I love just doing the same routine I've been doing, you know, staying in the gym, getting my extra work in. Uh, really just been on two days every day since then, so just really catching up with family, that's all. What's it been like getting, you know, used to this version of the team, the all the veterans coming in, like, what's the camaraderie that was, like, trying to get in with them? Uh, with the best coming in, it's actually good and actually fun, because you know you get to learn from them, me being one of the youngest guys on the team, just soaking up and being a sponge. And asking questions when I don't know no things, so just them being there there for me is something that I need. Uh, something lighthearted. You know, what's what's something Clipper fans you, you want them to know about getting they don't know? Uh, really, just want everybody to know that I'm here to win. Uh, here to do anything to help my team, and I'm one of the hardest workers in this in this game, honestly. Okay. How do you approach a, um, a, a camp? Well, what is there a moment where it hits you like, okay, we're, we're in camp, you, you see some of the veterans on the team. Is that like media day? Was it practice yesterday? What kind of hit you? No, I definitely get on the bus seeing everybody uh, for the first time, everybody in, in one area. You know, it's, you got to be excited. You know, it's a blessing to be in this position. Uh, you just got to be grateful for it. So how was practice yesterday? Talk about some of the young guys pushing some of the vets and all mm-hmm. that. Nah, practice was fun. I feel like uh, I didn't feel like three hours. You know, we just got in, got after, it, got out of there. Right, he's been a lot of time in the offseason, like working out with a bunch of different guys now and then and other guys. What did that do for your sense that you belong uh, in the league? What you can do to get this season? Uh, definitely working out with them guys. I've been working out them for years, so honestly, I've just been a pro for three years. Just the money just came. So just, you know, taking it one day at a time, learning from those guys. Like I said, asking questions, just getting out there with them as well. What's the biggest lesson you, I mean, again, you've known again for a long time, but what's the biggest thing that you feel like, you feel like a season that, you know, you're a rookie, but they taught you? Just to be professional, be on time, and take care of your work. Uh, as long as you don't cheat the grind, it's going to always get back to what needs to. Yeah. So what's your schedule been like? You know, we see the rookies coming in early. You guys are going over trainers and we same thing yesterday. You know, what's your schedule been like for you? Because I know you like to put a lot of work in and make sure work in. So nah, definitely me. I wake up around 6:45, go get breakfast at seven, get my treatment around eight. Uh the rookies all have to come in early, an hour before practice starts. So get that work in, practice. Go home, eat lunch, and then later in the day we uh, got another gym, so get some more shots of him, some more makes up later in the day. Uh, we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Brian. Hey, uh, you mentioned learning from the vets. Um, I want to ask you about Marcus Morris in particular, and just sort of your—he uh, he strikes us as a real confident dude. <laughs> um, I wonder what your first impressions of that guy are. Uh, it's him, he's a real genuine person. You know, he's gonna let you know when you're wrong and definitely teach you. That's one thing that I know about him that he just he didn't care what anybody had to say. He came and grabbed me in front of everybody and just let me know how to do it. And he's really just one of the most genuine vets I can say. What was it that he grabbed you about? Nah, he was just grabbing me, trying to show me something that I didn't know. So that's okay. all that was. Okay, so like like offense, defense, anything like that. Yeah, defense for uh, just trying to how to guard the post. Gotcha. Cool, cool. All right, well, have fun, man. Thank you. Brandon, I know a lot of people love to talk about how proficient the game is. You uh, show it a lot, throwing the ball off the ball. How do you describe yourself as a player based on, you know, the position that you're going to be asked to play? Uh, I describe myself as a bucket. Like, I can score at all three levels. Anytime I, anytime I get the ball, I feel like I can put it in the hoop. Okay. Brandon, do you have a rookie duty assigned to you by the events? Not yet. Yeah, not yet. I think you need to go with it, Mike. Nah, they said we should be good because Rondo and Pat Bev, but as of right now, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long have you had that rookie duty assigned to you? Like, how long have you had that bucket mentality? That, that bucket, bucket like, personality, you know? My whole life. Yeah. I feel like I can score anybody. I feel like nobody can just guard me one on one. So just putting the ball in the hoop in many different ways. I feel like that's my game. Yeah. Uh, 
Kifayat Adi, Shabir Allah Adi, Nam. Yes, sir. Any, uh, any guys you've been one-on-one -on -one yet in the, in the gym? I think I'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.